Hello everyone, and welcome to another CGO broadcast. Uh, I'm your host, GameSage Inc., and casting with me today is Studlock. Hello. Uh, today, we are doing the CGO Week 2 playoff matches, which means we will have three games for you today. They will be Snap and Crackle vs. Sinister, Housing Esports vs. Excessive, and today's match, uh, Celsius vs. UCG Gaming. Um, so Stud, tell me a little bit about the teams and what we can expect from them. Alright, the uh, Celsius team up here on top, they've uh, only got four players, uh, but anyway, we'll run through their roster. I'll, I suppose I'll get pick up on that fifth player uh, once he joins. Uh, the first player they got uh, on their roster is Dirty Bugger, sitting at Rifle. He's uh, He's been a pretty top tier player for the most most uh, recently in uh, ESL. Uh, Aokiji, I haven't actually seen him play, I, I mean he's on Celsius. He, he He's a rifle, and uh, he's a, uh, I guess, supporting rifle. Been supporting his team in uh, past ESLs, placing fairly high, getting like, I believe, second place in a couple of them. And uh, next we got Ciboulette at Point Man. Uh, should expect some lurking, maybe uh, some aggressive pushes, maybe he'll lead the charge for his team. And then we got Zarski at uh, Scope. He He's fairly decent as well, actually, uh, probably one of the, maybe, I don't know actually, I, I guess you could say he's one of the better scopes in the game. He goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, Kimpa uh, quite, quite a bit, but uh, I've only seen him a couple times play, so I suppose today is probably going to be the, the first time I'll actually see him do work. Now for the uh, UCG, UCG team, we've got uh, UCG Kiyu. Sitting at rifle, UCG CKZ sitting at rifle, UC, UCG XBI, I don't even know how to pronounce that, I, I guess by uh, sitting at point man, uh, UCG Terror at rifle, and then UCG YNN at point man. Um, look to see uh, CKZ at, uh, I believe he's an M4 player, uh, do some work for his team. Q is para, I believe. He might uh, actually pick up scope later on if he <clears throat> if he wants to. I've seen him scope in the past. He does fairly fairly uh, well with that PGM. I haven't seen uh, Bai play much, but I mean he's point man. He might be another one of those pushers for his team. Uh, UCG Terry sitting at rifle. I've seen him in the past. He's he's capable of getting frags. I mean I've seen him get dominated a few times, but I mean he's he's still there. He's a good teammate. And then uh, UCG at YNN, um, another one of those players I haven't really seen play. I mean, maybe I've seen him in the past, but I haven't seen that name before. Um, sitting at point, man. It looks like it's going to be a very exciting match. Uh, we saw UCG play before against Snap and Crackle. Um, UCG uh, played pretty passively and slow on the maps that we saw. So it'll be interesting to see how they uh, change it up uh, in this game on uh, defense, actually. Yeah, the uh, this Celsius team is actually in incredibly strong. Like I said before, they place high in ESLs, so uh, it's probably going to be a tough challenge for UCG to pull through. I mean, I expect Celsius to take this game, and I actually expect them to take it fairly quickly, but... We'll see what UCG has in store. I mean, they're starting on defense, so they can grab a, a bit of momentum, seeing as this is a defensive map. Yeah, uh, Celsius always plays as well. They've placed well. They were the highest placing team in the prior Seago tourney. Um, so definitely got to see what they bring out. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, I really haven't seen UCG place too high in tournaments. I mean, they've they've been playing for a while. They're fairly experienced and I mean they should start pulling uh, some some higher placings fairly soon here. Yeah I UCG definitely needs to play really well on the defense side of this map because uh, they need to build up that uh, uh, that comfort zone, that cushion, yeah. uh, because their offense may not work out too well against uh, Celsius defense. Yeah, yeah that's basically what I'm expecting. They really need to get themselves a huge lead on the defense in order to, to, to take this map. And it looks yeah. like we're about to start. So here we go. 
We've got Celsius starting on offense and UCG starting on defense. And we've uh, loaded into the map. We're gonna right. see uh, Celsius take a really fast rush into warehouse with Civilit going all the way up into warehouse. Outstanding. Dirty Bugger gets a really nice nade on UCG Caillou. And we have Zarsky uh, scoping up on bridge, trying to get a pick at one or to lock down a red container. What do you think about UCG's uh, defense layout instead? Uh, it's fairly spread. I mean, two players at one, two players at two. I, I'm not sure exactly where Q died. Maybe was was that in mid or some? I don't know, but uh, the plan. Uh, they're playing fairly passive at the moment. Kind of what I expected, and kind of a better defense to play anyway on this map, seeing as you can play corners very well. And it looks like they've uh, taken control of two. Celsius just got two quick kills, took the site, and now UCG is in a 2v4 situation. It looks like the, uh, UCG is going to be coming through the spawn. Uh, they're going to get a really rough setup by Celsius at 2. And they're going to be pushing in. And AKJJ just gets all the kills. Picks up a fast double kill. Yeah, cleans up the round. First round going to Celsius. Now uh, Celsius is going to be starting off for uh, another actually where push. They got two players over at where right now, sitting in front of where. They're going to meet two players in there. UCG Terra takes a nade, and he's really, really late. He's at one HP, sitting in warehouse. So he land another nade on. Yep, there goes another nade. Dirty Bugger gets a pick on him. There's no where here pretty soon. Going to meet up with uh, UC UCB Zai, UCG Zai, whatever, XBI. Hard to pronounce his name. Uh, they trade a few bullets and uh, Sibula actually takes the the worst of that that exchange there. And then uh, UCB, UCG XBI actually gets another few bullets into Dirty Bugger and, and uh, Celsius actually got control of Warehouse now. It looks like uh, Celsius is still looking for picks even though they have control of Warehouse. Uh, they're not pushing any of their advantages right now, but Sarsky is uh, scoping up Alleyway uh, in one. Working towards the uh, defense spawn. He gets a fast pick on Nen. And they've, uh, Celsius has gained control of one with that pick on Caillou. And just one guy left. And Celsius takes another quick round. 2 0 for Celsius. Yeah, it looks like, uh, UCG just pretty much fell apart one by one that round. Um, they had control of warehouse, but unfortunately, uh, a couple of nades got them uh, in a kind of a disadvantage uh, situation. And uh, Sibula actually going to push up real here, get a quick pick onto a uh, YNN. He's going to trade another bolt, few bullets with CKZ, but they, uh, this team, this uh, Celsius team, doesn't know that behind them is actually a uh, Q. Team Perno into UCG CKZ and cleans that up, and then uh, UCG Q is actually going to come up on the flank right now, and uh, he doesn't know that actually Sibula is right around the corner here. And Sibula gets a kill on there on a uh, key. A there. great play by Sibula. Yeah, he heard him coming up on the flank. He probably heard him uh, start to run, and he just uh, took him out with that corner corner camp. And it looks like we're gonna see the bomb going towards one. Uh, ECG only has one has two guys in their spawn, and they're gonna be trying to take one back from their spawn in a two v five situation. Zarsky, Zarsky into ECG Terra right there, and now it's a one v five situation for sure. ECG. XBI and uh, it's kind of a grim situation for him because he's at half HP while he's facing a couple of full HP players and some slightly lit players so he's pretty much I'm gonna count him out for this round 
meets up with Zarski, gets a few bullets into him. He's at 1 HP now. He gets Zarski and then he's going to run into Timmy Perno. <laughs> but then he gets sniped by Sibylle and that's uh, another round in favor of Celsius. And it looks like this might be a pattern. Uh, Celsius' offense is really good right now. Uh, they're getting all the picks, all the rotations, everything they need to uh, continue winning. Yeah, so UC UCG definitely needs to change something up. They're on quite a bit of a momentum... Uh, I don't know, uh, push here, uh, they're sitting at three rounds up already and it's barely been any, any, uh, time into this map. And, uh, already UCG's actually sitting at a, f oh, never mind, not 4v5, 3v5 situation because of a, a quick pick and then a nade by Dirty Bugger. Dirty Bugger has gotten two nades this half so far on Site 2. It's been pretty incredible what he's doing. He has some good, uh, he has some good timing and some very, very uh, good set nades. And uh, this UCG team is going to get picked off one by one again by Dirty Bugger and then AOKG. And then the only one up now is UCG CKZ with a 1v4 situation. Another large margin for him to overcome. Yeah, it feels like Celsia gets one pick or so and then they just walk into the site uncontested. So UCG needs to work on their rotations a little bit to ensure that their sites don't get taken away from them so easily. Yeah, I think uh, Celsius has pretty much got them handled for this, this side of the map. And this is uh, pretty unexpected seeing as it's a defensive map. Uh, they're they're rolling on offense on hammer blow, pretty unexpected. Sibulet's gonna come inside, uh, flanking one, but then he gets dropped, and uh, a couple of the UCG players get get a nade and then a an MP7 kill. Now it's a, a two big round, a big round by UCG there. Uh, they got a nade on bridge, which uh, killed the bomb carrier, and then they got a quick uh, double kill over at mid. It was pretty pretty good, pretty good comeback for them. Hopefully they can close this round out though. Yeah, it's good for them to get a round finally. I mean, they don't want to be going 0-6 this half because that'll be an easy defensive stand for uh, Celsius. They'd only have to get one round. But I mean, uh, Celsius, they still have two players up that could actually still win this round. Zarski and uh, Aokiji haven't really... I mean, Aokiji's pulling a 6-0 right now. But uh, Zarski hasn't been doing much. Hopefully he can get a few kills here, seeing as the uh, rest of his team is dead. Yokiji gets a kill into Terror. Or, I'll just call him Terror because I know who he is. <laughs> and Zarski. It, it looks like UCG is throwing away their advantage here. They keep peeking Celsius when they don't need to when they're on defense. So yeah, there's... Right, they're sitting at a 2v5 situation, now they're sitting at 2v3, and it's a very, very winnable situation for Celsius. Aoki just gonna push in through double door. He's gonna try and meet up with Q. But then uh, Q gets a few bullets into Zarski, now it's a 1v3 situation. Actually, UCG might end up winning this round. Oh, he's gonna. What is he gonna do? He's trolling! Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow, that was almost fail. UCG, uh, or Q gets dropped by Aoki G, and then 9. Or YNN gets killed by, or gets the kill onto AOKG, and that brings the first round to UCG, and that was four to one. Yeah, it was a great opening round for UCG. Uh, a little shaky on the end and closing it out, but hopefully they can keep doing that because they need to get at least two more rounds in this map. Yeah, Sibulet pushes fast into warehouse, but then he gets uh, picked by XBI. And now Dirty Burger's uh, trading a few bullets with the players in Warehouse, and uh, UCG's pretty much got control of that Warehouse right now, so they, they oh, and then Q gets a kill on AOKG in mid, and now it's a 3v5 situation for Celsius. Another uh, good opening round for UCG. Yeah, it looks like UCG has decided that they need to put importance on the value of Warehouse, and by doing so, they've gotten two kills, and they're sitting pretty at a 3v5. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be playing incredibly passively as well. They don't want to get aggressive because I think they know that if they push aggressive, they might they might fall. Yeah, they learned from the last round. <laughs> yeah. But they still have their scope up, Sarsky. He can definitely get one or two picks and open up any site. Yeah, as we saw from last round, he got, I believe it was two picks along with AOKG and it brought it back to uh, 
fairly winnable situation. But uh, unfortunately he was killed by Q and then that led to their loss. But uh, let's see what he can do is he's, he's uh, pushing into sight here. Timmy Perno is going to get a few wall bank shots into CKZ who's sitting in sight and then uh, CKZ actually pushes out and then gets a kill on Dazarski but then Dirty Bugger uh, gets him for his trouble. And uh, YNN is actually pushing out now as well. Terra's pushing out and then Terry gets the uh, kill on Timmy Perno and new Dirty Bugger gets the trade and then XBI comes out and uh, cleans up and gets the kill onto uh, Dirty Bugger and that's a second round in favor of UCG. Two rounds in a row. Yeah, so that nade on bridge and that double kill was really a huge momentum shift for UCG, and they're definitely showing that in the two quick rounds that they've taken. Yeah, absolutely. And now Subula and uh, Aoki are going to push through double door fairly quick here. Oh, never mind, they're denied by Terry. Nope, never mind, they're going to push anyway. Aoki gets a kill on the Terry, and now there's two people pushing through two right now. Dirty Buggers trading a few rounds with XBI at Warehouse, and then they got two pretty much on uh, on lock. Celsius so realized they were putting two guys in warehouse and that if they just rush through double D, uh, they'd get the site. Yeah, and they did so fairly easily as well. There was only one guy in double door and two guy uh, pushing through double door, and that was an easy situation to overcome. Uh, Zarski gets a shot into Q, UCG uh, YNN gets a trade there, and then Aokiji gets a YNN on another trade. UCG uh, CKZ is the only one up for his team. He has a 1v3 situation, it's fairly well. He has a nice headshot on the Timmy Perno, and now there's two people up for Celsius. And uh, this is actually really, a really good uh, situation for him. He's got Sibylla at 1 HP and Zarski sitting at half HP. Pops a smoke. He gets a few bullets into, into Zarski and drops him. Now it's a 1v1 situation for Sibylla and CKZ. Sibylla is actually 1 HP, so yeah, he has a great people. chance. Train a few bullets there. CKZ is going to ch uh, chase him. He doesn't know where he's going. He gets the kill. Can he get the defuse? Nope. <laughs> he's denied at the defuse because of us. Uh, uh, Sibulet's uh, good stall, I suppose. That was good. Good play by Sibulet. Denied uh, CKZ of his clutch there. And that'd be a uh, round win for Celsius. Yeah, they also denied UCG that third round cushion that uh, most teams want to get. Uh, so that is a really good pain for UCG to have right now. And Celsius is going to be kind of playing passive this round. I think they really want this last win to make it 6-2. Uh, Zarski gets a nice nade on a Q, but then uh, Q gets a nade on to Aokiji. Probably because there was a there's no nade marker. Sibulet pushes into warehouse, gets XBI. And now it is a four v three situation in favor of Celsius. They've got control of warehouse right now. Sibulet's going to be floating around in mid. Well, Team Perno is going to be setting up uh, to push up stairs of one. And at the moment, they're still playing fairly slow. Like I said, I think they really want this round. Six two win would be very good to. Uh, a very good situation for the uh, half. Yeah, Celsius doesn't want to give any advantage to UCG right now, so they're going to burn the timer and just try to get Zarski or someone else to get a pick on UCG before they commit to a site. Definitely really smart play by Celsius, especially if they want to win 6-2 on this half. Yeah, absolutely. Sibulet's going to be trying to uh, maybe pull a flank kill through double door here's double doors here he's gonna actually push in right now get a few bullets into Terry and the Terry gets dropped now at the 4v2 situation he's gonna run into NYN train a few bullets with him but Sibylla like, gets the worst of that encounter and now he's uh, sitting at 1 HP but then they got control of site 2 basically um, if they would just grab C4 and rotate yeah then they're gonna do that now Zarks so can grab C4 and he's gonna rotate through double door um, CKZ and NY uh, YNN the only ones up for their team NOI takes some shots from Dirty Bugger right there and dropping him to really low HP. So it's not looking very good for uh, UCG at all. Charge set. And the bomb, bomb gets planted. planted. Yep. 
Now they they have to rotate. Sarsky gets a shot into uh, Y and N, and he was already at 1 HP, so I mean, it didn't matter. He wasn't going to attack that. And then Team Inferno is going to trade some uh, bullets with CKZ, but then uh, Team Inferno actually cleans him up there, and that's a good half. Another round win for Celsius and a, uh, a half uh, win for Celsius as well. Yeah, Celsius just played that to the textbook, really. Uh, they were getting picks by the scope or getting nade picks. They were getting control of, like, warehouse or bridge, and then just pressing their advantage on UCG, and UCG couldn't pressure back, and they just kind of crumbled away on defense. Yeah, pretty much they uh, they pulled them, they picked them apart, essentially one by one if it were by nade or uh, a random, like, push, bringing them down to a, a instant 5v4 advantage. Um, then Celsius from there would either uh, look for another pick and then push, or just straight push, and it worked every time. There was only two instances where uh, uh, UCG actually was able to pull around in their favor, and that was because of their uh, in the beginning of the round. They actually pulled off a couple of nades of their own, a couple of picks of their own. But I mean, uh, still Celsius managed to get the better of them. Indeed, and I'd just like to remind everyone that today we're giving away four stream codes of the uh, CGO15 stream package, which you can find on the area site. Uh, you can get a full set of Ian and a three-day Python and one-day pumpkin grenade, so make sure you stay tuned for that chance. And we're starting out, and UCG's actually going to do a, a really almost full push to warehouse. They're going to be chucking a lot of nades, and they're going to be setting up to push it fairly soon here. XBI is the lead on that. He's a point man. He's going to go in there and meet Sibylette. Trades a few bullets with Sibylette, but then Terry actually kills his teammate, and then Timmy Perno comes in and cleans up Terry, and then Sibylette gets another uh, cleanup kill on CKZ. And now it's a, a 5v2 uh, situation for UCG just because uh, a bad play by Terry killing his own teammate and then the uh, Celsius players cleaning up the, uh, the rest of the UCG players. Yeah, it looked like UCG had a plan uh, with all their nades and how heavy they were playing Warehouse, but uh, their execution just didn't follow through as they pushed into the Warehouse and they couldn't take it or get any kills and that friendly fire kill was definitely a terrible thing to do. Q gets a pick into AOQG, bringing it back to 2v4 situation. Uh, yeah, the UCG team, as they were pushing in there, it seemed like, I mean, look at Timmy Perno and Sibylette, they're sitting at really low HP. I feel like they were a couple bullets away from having great execution, but they just couldn't they couldn't pull through. And then right there, Timmy Perno gets a couple bullets into YNN because YNN missed a couple of easy shots onto a couple 1 HP players. And now it's a 1v3 situation for Kiyu. Kiyu's going to find Dirty Bugger here. If he peeks forklift, which he isn't going to, he might get shot by Dirty Bugger in the back. Uh, but Dirty Bugger does not peek and gives him the sight. Uh, but that's okay, because they're all playing in Warehouse, and the bomb is in Warehouse, and Kiyu is on a scope, and they know this, so it's going to be pretty difficult for him to get in there and get a pick. Yeah, Sibylet's playing that corner really tight. I mean, he's done this before on playing that corner. He's probably going to get the kill onto UCGQ. Oh, he doesn't! Sibylet doesn't even react, and then he gets dropped. And now it's a 1v2 situation for Q, but I mean, he's really low right now. He's at 1 HP. Dirty Bugger is sitting at full HP, and uh, Tim Timmy Perno is actually pl playing really passive. He ran all the way to spawn. Yeah, and Celsius knows to play the timer. They see there's 10 seconds left, and Dirty Bugger takes out Kai right there to end the round. That was a nice try by UCG. They had a, like you said earlier, they had a plan. They attempted to execute, but they were actually, unfortunately, a few bullets off from uh, flawless execution. Uh, UCG XBI is going to be pushing up through one right now. He's uh, sitting at point man. He's going to go and flank Dirty Bugger right now in mid. He gets the kill on UCG, or actually gets the kill on Dirty Bugger, then uh, Aokiji comes and flanks him and gets the trade call. And now it's a 4v. Oh, actually. Sarsky's gonna come Sarsky's up. Sarsky's in mid, here. just killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, he gets a 3K major 3K, in mid. 3K for Sarsky. He gets a 4K. <laughs> Goes huge with a 4K in mid. Oh my god. Well, Sarsky just won the round for Celsius there. Uh, <laughs> Pretty 2 much. Pretty much won him the round there. I think they UCG got really confused, and I think they thought Sarsky was at a hole or something. But yeah, he was exactly. just sitting at red container, and no one realized it. Yeah, it all started with a bit of unawareness, uh, not knowing where Sarsky was, and he just got took advantage of that and got four kills. And uh, UCG actually got a pick in the beginning of the round. Uh, now it's 
a 5v4 advantage in favor of them. Sibylai actually does, it doesn't matter because Sibylai comes up and pushes into Q, who's uh, in middle, but then uh, NY, uh, YNN, excuse me, gets the uh, trade onto Sibylai. Now it's a 4v3 situation. So the first time that UCG has had an advantage on the offense side of the map, uh, hopefully they can do something with this. Uh, looks like they're heading towards one, but again, Sarsky is there. Yeah, Zarski with the the big 4K in mid. He's he's sitting uh, sitting on a bit of a high there. He's got a bit of momentum in favor of him. He might get another few kills here. Who knows? They're all setting up for a one push. Dirty Bugger sees a few guys. Zarski misses his shot in one. Dirty Bug Dirty Bugger gets dropped and then Zarski gets dropped. And now they got control of site one. And uh, UCG was, that was a nice team effort there. They pushed all into site uh, nearly at the same time. Pretty much uh, how they should have executed pushing the warehouse, but unfortunately they weren't able to. Timo Perno is going to get dropped. Terry is going to get the cleanup kill, and that'll be the first round for UCG. Yeah, UCG played that really well. Uh, they knew the scope was in one, so they just all rushed in and overwhelmed the scope, and then got the second kill and spawn, which pretty much gave them the round one before. XBI is going to be pushing straight up through one right now. He's, he sees Dirty Bugger and catches him off guard and gets the first kill. Zarski denies Terry of the kill at uh, site one and uh, denies the push, actually. Zarski's going to put up, push up, but then he gets naded because he's being too aggressive. And now it's uh, a bit of an... Actually, it doesn't matter because Aokiji is over there at two getting a, a trade. Bringing it back to a 3v3. And then Sibula pushes out and gets XBI as he's turned away. And then, and then into CKZ as he's uh, trying to come in and get the trade kill. Very smart play with there by uh, Sibula, knowing when to push out and not uh, just getting two kills right off the bat. Right, and uh, it was actually looking good for UCG there again, but then uh, a couple of uh, mis mishaps on their uh, covering ability caused them to drop three players, and now they're sitting at a 3v1 situation. UCG Kiyu is uh, the lone man up. He's got three people to kill. He's uh, with the scope right now. All players are lit, so he can probably get all one-hit kills. Sees one player in mid. Misses the shot. He gets the shot the second time. Now he's got two players to kill. Two players to kill, all while Bomb is down in front of one. And they probably know this. And Celsius is playing one guy in sight and one guy at mid while the Bomb is on bridge. So it's a pretty interesting site by, uh, set up by Celsius right now. Yeah, I think they're playing fairly passive. Uh, UCG Q is going to run into Timmy Perno, but it's a, yeah, that's a unfortunate. Uh, Timmy Perno saw him under the the uh, tank there and got a few shots into him, and then actually cleaned him up there. And that's a good game, good map. First yeah, map. Celsius really just knows how to play smart uh, and not giving too much of an advantage to UCG. Yeah, first map goes to Celsius and by quite a large margin as well. Not as quick as I expected it, but still fairly easy for Celsius. Highlight of that uh, half right there was probably Zarski and mid getting a huge 4k. Yeah, it was just major mismanagement by UCG on understanding or just calling out where people are and what's going on. But Zarski took advantage of it, and he took a 4k in a round away from UCG. Yep, absolutely. That was, uh, yeah, that was a good display by Celsius winning their first map. They showed how strong they can be, and they it seemed like they didn't uh, take UCG for granted either. They weren't, they weren't uh, pushing incredibly strong. They were actually playing fairly smart, looking for those picks, and uh, they they pulled them apart, basically. And not to count UCG out or anything, but uh, they had a lot of preparation into their strategies, I think. It was just their execution that was kind of biting them in the butt a little bit. Uh, we saw we saw their uh, their entrance into Warehouse. We, uh, they were playing pretty well on Bridge until they got to mid or they actually went into Warehouse. So yeah. instead, what do you 
what do you uh, think UCG is going to try to do differently on dual site, and how do you think Celsius plays on dual site? Um, UCG, well, they're starting on defense as well. Um, there, I saw them play last week. I believe it was uh, they were playing really passive defense, just like they did on uh, Hammerblow. And I, I honestly don't think they're going to change it up because I don't think they. I don't think they think it is anything wrong with their their playstyle right right now. I think they're just getting outshot. Maybe that's their mentality at the moment, and they and, and it's actually not working out for them. This defense, this passive defense, because uh, Celsius is actually just pushing straight into them, and uh, Celsius starting on offense. I probably just going to be doing similar strat. I mean, this map's a bit more. Versatile, they can uh, run around the map if they please. That's a uh, it's fairly open map to uh, sprint around and get some flanks, maybe get some quick pushes. Uh, Celsius is going to be pushing through mid right now. Nobody's going to be t there to con contest them, and it uh, seems as if they're going to be setting up for possibly a two. There's two players near two at the moment. Two players in mid. This uh, looks like the typical UCG fan out, try to get a nade or a skill pick, and then go from there. Yeah, they're playing passive defense. Like I think this was exactly the same setup they had before. They had two players at one, two players at two, and then one player mid. Just not peeking, really. Um, the Celsius offense is fairly spread out. UCG XBI opens up with a kill onto Aokiji, and then uh, Q gets a nade onto Timmy Perno, and that's a 3v5 advantage for UCG. Kind of like uh, how they had success on the last map, they would uh, get a nade kill, and then a quick kill, and then it brought them in favor. Uh, YNN gets a kill on a Sibulet, bringing it 4v2, but then Zarski gets a trade onto CKZ, and uh, now it's a 4v... Wait, 4v2. I meant 4v3, anyway. Anyways, it is now a 2v3. Uh, it looks like Celsius is going to try to keep working one with Sarski as the scope getting picks. Uh, but UCG, has they've all rotated and they've got a pretty decent setup to take back one. Yeah, Zarski's uh, got the scope there. Dirty Bugger's at the rifle and there's a, those are two strong players. And they're going to actually meet up with XBI and XBI is going to get the better of that, that uh, confrontation. And then Terry's going to come in and clean up on uh, Zarski. And that's a uh, round win for first round win of the of the match goes to UCG uh, unexpectedly. Yeah, it was good play by UCG on taking back that site, but the real mind puzzling thing is why Celsius was so far pushed out, but so spread out as well. We had Zarski all the way at tank, and then uh, some of Celsius was pushing into two, and they just got yeah, picked yeah. off. It was like, it was kind of an aggressive spread offense that they were doing, and it. <laughs> it it's kind of dumb because that plays to the defense's advantage because it's only like 1v1 situations all around when it should be just a full team pushing in and uh, taking sight. Team efforts usually win the game. Good job. A good nade by AOKK on Caillou at uh, mid. On my way. Yeah, Yokiji gets a quick nade onto Kiyo and onto 5v4 advantage for Celsius. And now they're going to be... Sibylla gets a kill onto YNN, but then Terry gets a cleanup kill. Now it's a 4v3 advantage, and they're going to be setting up for a one push, it seems. They've got two players on bridge, one player at a uh, one. Uh, but then Dirty Bugger's running all the way to a C4? I don't... I guess... I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Uh, the th three of the Celsius players are actually going for confrontation with uh, the UCG players at one. While uh, Dirty Bugger actually goes over to two and sets. Oh, okay, there was there was like a diversion for the Celsius team. So Dirty They're Bugger right beside each other. Zarski <laughs> Zarski gets Operation the cleanup success. kill into Terry, and that brings uh, the first round for Celsius, and now it is one all. So a good play by Celsius there. They had Sibulate uh, sneak up into dark room and get one pick, which opened up a whole bunch of craziness for them to sneak around and bait and rotate and everything. <laughs> yeah, that was a strange offense there. They it looked like they were trying to set up to take one. They had three players at one, but then uh, uh, 
what's his name, uh, Dirty Bugger actually ran with C4-2 and planted it. And the first kill, uh, Zarski gets a shot into Terry and that brings it to a 5v4 situation for Celsia. And we see Sibile once again pushing deep into one site. I think he's on top or he's inside of one. Yeah, he's on top and he takes out uh, YNN. Uh, but he's... And yeah, now it's a 1v5. Celsia, 1v4. Celsius yet again picks apart the UCG team and uh, bring bring it to a 1v5 situation. Uh, CKZ actually picked up a kill there, but it, uh, it wasn't enough. He uh, gets dropped by Okiji, I believe. And that brings another round for uh, Celsius. Yeah, it looks like Celsius is uh, doing what they were do doing in just the first round. They're pressuring as much as they can, even if they get really spread out, uh, and it's been working. Yeah, uh, XBI opens up with a kill on Aokiji, and then Kyu gets a opening kill onto Zarski, bringing it to a 5v3. But then Sibulet trades and gets a key kill onto Kyu, and then uh, YNN actually trades that and gets Sibulet. And now it's a 4v2 advantage for the defense uh, UCG here. They've got quite an advantage, actually. Four of their men up have full HP, and then the uh, two remaining team players on uh, Celsius have full HP. Then uh, Timmy Perno actually plays fairly passive there and ends up getting a, a kill onto XBI and brings it back to a three v two situation. Easy, easily winnable for Celsius. But UCG is playing pretty well. They have all their sides covered, but Timmy Perno is going to run into Tur here, and Tur takes out Timmy with a nice headshot. Yeah, Terry uh, gets a headshot onto Perno there and then uh, brings it to a 1v3 situation. But then Dirty Bugger gets a couple of nice headshots on the CKZ and YNN, YNN, and now it brings it to a 1v1 situation. Dirty Bugger actually has bombs, so he's got the advantage. Looks like he's going to meet up with uh, Terry over here at the 90. Terry kind of expects it. But then he turns away at the wrong time. Oh my god, he's going to get a headshot. No, he sees him! They're going to trade a few bullets, but then Terry gets a nice hedge on, on the Dirty Bugger and denies, of the, denies him of the nice clutch. That was definitely not what UCG wanted. They had the advantage there and it transformed into a 1v1 situation. UCG just kind of got outpicked by Dirty Bugger there. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Sibylet gets the first kill into XBI of the round and then he gets a few bullets into Kiyu. Now it's a 5v4 advantage for Celsius. Zarski is going to be pushing up mid right now by himself. He's going to get shot and killed by Terry in mid. Uh, unfortunate play by Zarski. I don't know what he's doing there. He needs to stop playing by himself. I mean, I think these two rounds that uh, Celsius actually lost is, was because they've been playing by themselves. Yeah, they play by themselves and push really far up. And the rounds that UCG has won is when UCG has been able to stop that. But the rounds UCG has lost is when Celsius has just rolled over them in the sights. Yeah, exactly. Um, Dirty Bugger pushes up really far, gets a kill onto CKZ, and uh, now it's a 4v3 advantage for Celsius. But I mean, anything could happen. They're playing. Dirty Bugger's playing by himself. Terry gets a kill onto Sibulet because he's probably playing by himself. Timmy Perno gets the uh, trade, though, onto Terry. Uh, actually, I guess he wasn't playing by himself because Timmy Perno was there to get the trade. And now. Uh, YNN gets a kill into Timmy Perno because I mean he was he was by himself there, and then now Dirty Bugger sitting at one right now is going to set up for the one plant with Aokiji, and now they're playing together, which actually might go uh, in favor of them. Might be yeah. Uh, the strategy of Celsius like split pushing kind of potential is that uh, even if they die at one site, it forces the rotate of UCG, which means Celsius can just walk into the other site if the bomb is in the right spot. Yeah, basically, Aokiji gets a nice 2k there, cleans up the round for uh, Celsius, and that's a, a third round win for Celsius. UCG needs to find a player to step up and get the kills to stop uh, Sibulet and AOKK -A -A from uh, just getting those kills and opening the sights. Yeah, they're going to be pushing up for uh, one, they're going to do one push right now, Subulek gets the first kill at YNN, and then there's going to be four, three other players actually, excuse me, uh, pushing into site one. Actually pushing the top one, possibly. Setting up for that one push. Timmy Perno is going to join him fairly soon here. Aoki gets, Aokiji excuse me, gets the kill on the Kiyu. And then CKZ gets the trade kill on the Aokiji. Dirty Bugger cleans up Terry on top one. Timmy Perno gets XBI on the flank. And now it's a 1v4 situation for CKZ. Pretty uh, tough situation in my opinion. He's got 
pretty, he's pretty much surrounded in site one. They, they've got him on lock. <laughs> he's kind of done. Yeah, there's three players set up for the rotate right now. He is done. He's gonna be walking into the meat grinder if he goes into the dark room. Yeah. Taking a few bullets from Team Prino through the uh, bridge there. Gonna meet up with Dirty Bugger. He's gonna miss his shots because it's a kind of a tough shot to land. Then Dirty Bugger ends up getting the kill there because of his uh because of his uh I guess position on that uh top one site. Uh Celsius is gonna be doing the same thing, same old uh what is it? Spread offense, I guess. Uh it's actually UCG that uh is the first one to be confrontational this round, which is different from all the other rounds. And he's getting chased down by Timmy and uh, Civilet, or A AO, KK. Yeah, and actually doesn't pay off for him as he's uh, clamped down by his team, by the Celsius team there. And actually, that's the first time I've seen really, or actually maybe second time I've seen Celsius pull together as a demon, clean up that kill. And then Tim Timmy Perno gets a nade onto Terry. Zarski gets a shot in the CKZ. Now it's a one v, another one v five situation for the UCG player, uh, UCG Kiyu. He's got four players to kill now as he actually got a kill into Timmy Perno. He's going to get flanked though, however, by Aokiji fairly soon here. He's going to get knifed maybe? Yep. <laughs> uh, That's knifed. the uh, second time Aokiji has tried to knife someone this uh, match. Yeah, he actually managed to get it that time. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, Celestia is going to be sticking to their spread offense. They've got one player in mid, but then that player uh, gets dropped by, Sibu or, uh, by a Kiyu with a scope. Now it's a 5 4 advantage for UCG. Um, let's see if they can pull this one through. I mean, they're in. They should take this this map or this round, seeing as they're sitting at a one player advantage. By getting that uh, quick pick, UCG sets them up to stop Celsius from their uh, how they're playing offense. So UCG is in a really good spot, and I'd be really surprised for them if they lost this round. Yeah, right. They uh, they definitely have the advantage right now. Uh, Zarski is going to be pushing up top one. He might run into CKZ there. C CKZ is oh actually CKZ is in, CKZ is in sight. Uh, XBI gets a kill into AOKG and brings it to a five v three advantage. Now, now I really expect UCG to win this round. There's pretty much no way they. I mean, there is a way they they could lose this, but I mean, I expect them to to take this round. Three players of the Celsius team sitting up at full HP. They're really spread out though. Dirty Bugger's sitting at two by himself. Timmy Prino's sitting on bridge by himself, and Zarski's sitting at at uh, one top one by himself. He gets a kill, or Timmy Prino gets a kill on YNN, then Terry gets a kill on Zarski. XBI gets a kill onto Dirty Bugger because he's playing by himself over there, and then Terry cleans up on Timmy Prino, and that's a uh, actually a round win, Ex an expected round win by UCG. UCG just played that how they should have, uh, but Celsia, they had Zarski, their scope, in a really good spot to get the rotates, but their rifles were nowhere in sight to force that rotate by taking one, and Zarski gets a really impressive, that typical nade onto Dulcite top. Yeah, that was a, a nice opening frag by uh, Zarski there, and then Aokiji gets the second kill onto Terry, Sibula third kill onto Kiyu, and now it's a 5v2 advantage for Celsia, and they're probably gonna take this map. CKZ sitting at 1 HP, CKZ is just getting naded. Yeah, oh he's, getting, he's ripped apart by nades. Uh, they spot XBI on the flank, and he's going to get pinched right now by Sibulet, Dirty Bugger, and Aokiji. Yeah, he runs into Sibulet. Sibulet drops him with the Veresk, and now it's a 1v5 situation for CKZ. He's sitting at 1 HP, so he's pretty much uh, done for. He's going to spot Dirty Bugger, maybe. Yeah, he does, and he gets the first kill there. But <laughs> again, he's got a mountain seems, ahead of him. Yeah, it seems like the same situation where he's got five, four players to kill, heading to two with bomb down at two. Uh, he's gonna get killed here by Timmy Perno because Timmy Perno's playing that corner, and that's a good half. Uh, half goes to Celsius. Great offensive play by Celsius. The uh, they managed to do pretty much the same thing they did last map. They 
picked apart UCG one by one. There wasn't really, I didn't see too many uh, full pushes by Celsia. They just spread apart. Occasionally they would play with each other, but for the, oh wow, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, occasionally they would they would play as a team, but uh, for the most part they just spread apart. They picked uh, UCG one by one and then got their rounds and ended up winning that half 6-2-3. Yeah, pretty much what we expected from that half. Um, UCG didn't really get a star player to start stopping Celsius from uh, from killing everyone, uh, so there wasn't much UCG could do there except for just take it. <laughs> Basically, then Celsius is just proving to be too strong. UCG needs to uh, either step up in their gunning skill to stop Celsius from just picking them off. Uh, or they need to start working together and have more teamwork in bomb sites. But we'll see what happens on EU for UCG gaming. Yeah, UCG is going to be on offense this half. Uh, this is a fairly offensive map, I think. Just it is pretty balanced, but I think more so it's a uh, an offensive map. UCG is going to be setting up for a two right now. There's two players in bathroom. From the Celsius, actually, s s one player, but then he gets the kill onto CKZ, and now it's a 4v4 situation because XBI gets a kill onto Sibylette. Timmy Perino gets a kill onto Kiyu in mid, and then Aokiji gets a actually into Kiyu at one, and then uh, Aokiji gets a kill on Terry in mid. And now it is a 2v4 situation for UCG. They've got two players up with full HP. Aokiji sitting at one HP is going to meet up with YNN, and he gets dropped. And that's a 3v2. Uh, two of the Celsius players sitting at fairly low HP. Timmy Perno's at half and Dirty Bugger's at 1 HP. If Zarski can uh, pull something off here for his team, they actually might end up taking this round. But for the moment, it looks like UCG actually might win this one. Zarski's in a... he's pushed up really far in tunnel when normally scopes would play far back. So UCG has the opportunity to catch Zarski off guard here if he misses. And he does miss, and then they can't kill him. Zarski gets the pistol kill onto XBI as he's trying to set the C4. YNN is the only one up for his teammate. He's sitting at fairly low HP, but so are the Celsius team. Uh, YNN gets a nice shot through the, the metal there onto Dirty Bugger, and that's a 1v1 situation for uh, YNN. And they're both pretty low on HP too, it could go either way. And Timmy yeah. Perner takes out YNN right there. Uh, I guess the the health didn't health bar didn't matter there as uh, Timmy Perner actually had a scope and he scoped the one HP uh, YNN. And that's a first round going to Celsius. UCG is going to be pushing up through mid right now. They're going to meet up with Aokiji and get the first pick onto him. And that's the type of teamwork I was talking about before. Uh, they didn't force the one v one. It was a two v one. CKZ gets a kill on his teammate there and brings it back to a 4v4 situation, unfortunately, for the UCG team. Timmy Perno gets a nice headshot onto Kiyu. And now it's a 3v4 advantage for Celsia. UCG has control of mid right now. They can do basically anything they want. However, Sibulet's actually pushed up fairly far in mid, and you can actually get a couple kills if he if he plays it right. XBI trades a few bullets, Team Perno actually takes the better of that confrontation, gets a kill, now it's a 3v3 situation, Sibulet's gonna be flanking right now, they don't know it, uh, but I guess it doesn't really matter because they're too far. It's a 3v3 and uh, it looks like Celsia has the surround, and they're getting picks while they're planning. Yeah, Sibulet gets a nice kill on Terry, seeing as he has a scope, CKZ gets a kill on Sibulet, now it's a 2v2 situation. Celsius having the health advantage, and then Dirtbugger gets a nice 2k on the entry there. Getting and that there. is why people use the para. <laughs> yeah, I believe that was a... Uh, uh, collateral? Uh, collateral, actually, yeah, because it looked like the X's were lined up there. And uh, Celsius is going to call it dead round because one of their players DC'd. And that, uh, I mean, they only need two rounds to win. I don't see why they dropped. 
I don't think they really needed to drop theirs. They had four capable players. These are uh, free-to-play servers, remember that. <laughs> I, I am in, impressed with how UCG, it looks like they've prepped for these games, um, and they've practiced, uh, so I'm happy to see that a team has been doing that, but Celsia is just destroying them in individual skill. Yeah, basically. Celsius, I mean, they've been playing fairly spread offense this entire match. This best of three, they haven't really needed to play together as a team. Occasionally, you'd see them play together when they needed to, but for the most part, they spread apart. Uh, one by one, they would uh, work on getting their own picks, and uh, for, for the most part, it worked out for them. Occasionally, they'd get caught by a couple of UCG players, and uh, I mean, I guess that's what you uh, you run the risk of doing is getting picked when you're playing by yourself. But I mean, I guess they're they're willing to take that risk. Yeah, it's definitely a risky strategy to do, but it's working out when you can outgun your opponent. Uh, on a side note, though, t uh, to those viewers who are watching right now, if you want to type in chat Sego number fifteen, uh, you'll be entered into the drawing for a Sego stream package code. Uh, which is again, if you don't know, a 7-day Ian set, full Ian set, and a 3-day Python, and a 1-day Pumpkin Grenade. So uh, be sure to do that. And it looks like uh, everyone's back in the room, and we're just waiting on everyone to ready up before we finish off the second half. I guess while we're waiting here... oh, never mind, starting up, here we go. <laughs> Uh, Celsius sitting pretty, only needs two rounds of win. Uh, UCG's got a huge, huge mountain to climb. They're, they've got zero rounds this half. They need six to either tie it or win. Yeah, it's definitely not in their favor, and Celsius has been proving every single round why um, they've gotten so many rounds. It's just outgunning everyone. And here we go, the uh, full UCG push at one. Uh, they're gonna run into dirt, dirty bugger. Oh, my God. the game's starting it's, up. I'm, uh, dirt. <laughs> I'm just getting yeah. a little excited there, Steph. <laughs> I was ready to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now, okay, well they pretty much did the same thing. Ditto for last round, guys. They're all pushing at one. Five players of the UCG team setting up to push one. They run into Timmy Perno. He's throwing a nade. They're gonna run into dirty bugger as well. They get the kill on a dirty bugger at top one. UCG, uh, Terry gets the kill onto Team Proto as well, but then uh, Terry gets sniped by Zarski from Bridge. Superlet's gonna be trading bullets with XBI, XBI gets the kill onto him. Q gets a shot into Zarski, and then XBI is gonna come in and uh, clean that kill up, and now it's a 1v4 situation for Aokiji. Uh, three of the UCG players sitting at full HP, uh, CKZ sitting at 1 HP. He gets dropped by Aokiji, and now it's a 1v3 situation, and uh, Aokiji's got a bit of a, a task. He's got a, a silence gun there, he can probably get a few kills without them knowing, but then it doesn't matter. Uh, XBI goes big this round with uh, another kill, and that'd be a uh, round win for UCG. Good team play by UCG, taking over site one. Took over top one fairly quickly and uh, got the bomb down. And it looks like they're going to be doing the same thing, Zarski gets a nice 2k. Dirty Bugger on the, on the, oh wow, Zarski on the 3k defensive play there for his team, and then Dirty Bugger gets another kill as well. Brings it to a 1v4 situation for Kiyu, and then he gets dropped by Dirty Bugger. So nice play by Dirty Bugger there, Dirty Bugger got a 2k, and Zarski there, great play by him as well, he got a 3k. Yeah, it looks like UCG just at the beginning of the, uh, this half, or the restart of the half, uh, they are like, we, we need to just rush, we need to put all of our eggs in one basket, and hopefully it pays off. Um, Zarkson oh, gets a wow. quick kill on Tur. Oh wow, he got a nice shot through mid there. He shot him from the top of one into mid. That was a sick shot. Uh, now it's a 5v4 situation for uh, Celsius. They only need one more round to win it. Uh, Zarski gets another kill of this uh, round and that's 2k for him. They're sitting at a 5v3 advantage. Yeah, it looks like UCG, they needed someone to step up, and it looks like Sarsky said no. He's uh, gotten four, five kills in the last two rounds? Six kills already, wow. 
Yeah, he he he's going big this this half for sure. Or this uh after this dead round here. Uh XBI gets a kill on the AO Kiji, but then uh Timmy Perno gets a kill on the CKZ, bringing it back to a four V two situation. UCG's got a kind of a I suppose they've got an objective here, but I think they they might end up falling to Celsius. Celsius got four players at full HP. Uh UCG only has two players at full HP. It's that's looking like Celsius is going to take this map and this match. Yeah, Timmy Perno gets a sick headshot on XBI as he's trying to rotate through spawn. And now uh, YNN is the only one up for his team. YNN gets a kill on the Dirty Buggers. Now it's a 1v3. YNN is sitting at full HP. He sees Timmy Perno trades a few bullets with him. But then Timmy Perno gets the kill on the YNN. And that's a good game, good match. And the match goes to Celsius. Yeah, congrats to Celsius. It was a good effort by both teams, but Celsius proved to be better. Yeah, it proved to be quite a bit better. They uh, pretty much dominated every facet of this of this match. The one v ones, the the team play occasionally they would outplay them, and uh, some nice set nades as well. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, Zarski he showed that he was he's pretty boss at scope. He got a couple, he got like 4k and a 3k here and showed me that he's uh, quite a player. Quite a scoper. UCG unfortunately couldn't uh, stop them. Getting yeah, outshot was... left and right. Well it was pretty telling when um, Celsius was flanking the offense team or like 30 seconds into the round, uh, UCG didn't really have an answer for such playstyles like that, and Celsius just took the win. And uh, congrats to Bacon Strips XD for winning the uh, stream code. Make sure you check your inbox on Twitch for the code. Um, we'll be back in about 50 minutes for the second match, which is going to be Snap and Crackle versus Sinister. So uh, make sure you stick around, and we'll.